guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I would love if you would subscribe down below for beauty videos every week. So today I decided to do a prom look and it's literally like, I was in the middle of writing a paper, like an essay for school. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film because I was in like a funk. I was like, I don't wanna do this anymore. I literally have exams and essays like coming at me left and right, but I was like, I'm just gonna film a video because I felt like it. So a lot of people have been requesting a prom look because I know prom season's coming up. But yeah, I did this kind of brown cut crease and then I did more of a cool tone lip. I, that's what I did for today. So if you guys wanna see how I achieved this look, then just keep on watching. Doing the eyes first, just because I don't wanna get any fallout or anything. Um, so I have nothing on my face right now. Like I haven't even primed or anything. So I'm gonna be taking the Balm Put A Lid On It Eyelid Primer. Looks like this. I usually would use a concealer, but because I'm using the James Charles palette and they say that it works better with a um, primer, I'm gonna be using a primer. And I actually should have carved my eyebrows out at the top. So I'm actually gonna do that quick. I'm just gonna carve the top of my brows really, really quick just because I didn't realize. So if you guys are curious, I'm just gonna carve my brows out with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 05. Just really, real fast. I'm just using a Morphe M224. I'm just gonna use a little bit. And I'm not like bringing it down or anything. I'm just carving the brow out. So I'm gonna be using the James Charles palette, like I mentioned. I'm doing an all brown look, so I decided to wear all brown shirt. It's from H&M, if anybody's curious, which I don't, nobody is, but it's from H&M. So I'm gonna be dipping into this one right here. This is in the middle row, it's one of the big pants. I'm that on a Morphe M433. And I'm just gonna be putting that in the crease. I think I'm gonna do a cut crease. So I'm gonna bring it a little bit higher. So I'm just kind of weighing that out a bit as well, just because I said I was going to do a crease. Next, I'm going to be taking this shade right here. It's right beside the shade I just used. So this is the shade I just used, and this is the next shade. It's like a really deep chocolate brown. Um, it's actually deeper than what it comes off on camera. So I'm just taking it on the same Morphe M433, and I'm just going to be placing that right in the crease i'm kind of gonna like pat it in first and then start sweeping just because i want it to like seamlessly blend with the orange so i'm just gonna pat it in first and then start sweeping back and forth Okay, so now I'm going to be taking this shade right here. It's literally right beside the other two. And I'm going to be taking it on this Morphe M506. This is like a really... This is like on the warm and cool tone side. I don't really know, but... Yeah, I'm going to take that right in the crease. This is going to like just finally add the last bit of depth. So I think I'm happy with it, how it's looking. It looks really good in person. It always looks different on camera just because that's how it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to cut the crease. Um, I'm going to take the Jouer Essentials High Coverage Concealer in Chiffon. And I'm just going to take it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to be using a Morphe M124. I do prefer the Morphe M224, it's like a concealer brush, but all of mine are dirty, so. I do have like a whole how to cut your crease video up on my channel. I'll leave a link down below if you guys are struggling with cutting your crease. So I think it's always linked down below. So yeah, if you are like struggling, definitely go check that video out. It'll help you a ton. So I'm gonna be taking just a matte white. You could even use a translucent powder if you have one. So for now, I think the eyes I'm gonna say are done. Um, I don't think I'm gonna add any winged eyeliner. I was gonna add some brown winged eyeliner just to add like a little bit of something, but I think I like it the way it is right now. Um, I was also gonna add some glitter, but um, I don't think I'm gonna do that either. 
I'm just taking a makeup wipe just to take off all the excess before I do my foundation. Um, but yeah, if you're going to wear this to prom or something, because I am going to classify this as a prom look, even though... Yeah, I'm going to say it's a prom look. Um, but if you guys wanted some like eyeliner on prom or something, definitely add some brown. I think it would look really, really good. To prime the face, I'm going to be taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. And for the T-zone, I'm going to be taking my uh, Benefit Portfessional. These are my two favorite primers. So I just like to put like two pumps of the Smashbox. And put it all over. I like to focus it mainly in the outer region just because I'm the driest there because of my acne creams. So for foundation, I'm going to be using my all-time favorite. I use it in every single one of my videos. I'm going to be taking my NARS Longwear Foundation in the shade Gobi and Stromboli. I'm going to mix the two. I'm going to put more parts of the darker one just because I am pretty fake tanned. Um, and maybe two pumps of this. I'm going to be applying that with the Morphe Teardrop Sponge. So I look like an Oompa Loompa, I look orange. Does anyone else hate when I like made too much foundation and it's such a waste because that foundation is so expensive and I'm not even going anywhere. I'm literally doing this as I procrastinate because this is going to be the title of this video because I already know. Um, I have three essays and five exams and I'm doing a makeup look instead. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking, I would cream contour, but like I mentioned, I'm not going anywhere. I'll only cream contour if I'm actually going somewhere and I want my makeup to last. Um, so I'm just going to be taking my Jouer concealer again in the shade Chiffon. And I'm just going to put that um, everywhere. This is a really, really good concealer. I talked all about it in my last video. It's just basically a really good concealer. And I'm just going to blend it out with my Morphe sponge again. Okay, so I switched the lighting just a bit because I looked super white and ghostly. I still think the under eyes look a little bit ghostly, um, but that's fine. We're going to move on. So I'm going to be bronzing and contouring and all of that stuff now. So I'm going to be taking my Morphe M527 and my Hula Bronzer by the Benefit. By the Benefit? By Benefit. And I'm going to be bronzing up my face just to add some color back into it. So here's a little montage that you can enjoy of me trying to take an Insta story um, for my Instagram. Link will be in the description. Why do I do that with my hand? Literally, my hand has to stop just throwing a peace sign up. Like... I'm almost 20 years old and I'm still throwing up a peace sign in every single one of my pictures. I can't stop. It's like a reflex of mine now to throw a peace sign up. I'm just contouring my nose with a Morphe E62 brush and I'm going to try to go a little bit narrower, narrower than I usually do. So for blush, I'm going to be using my ColourPop blush in the shade Weirdo. And then to further contour, I'm going to be taking my The Bomb Take Me Home Bronze in the shade Grammy. So I'm going to be using my Real Techniques multitasking brush for my blush. And then my Morphe M405 brush for my contour. Oh, to spray my face, I'm going to be taking my Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist. This is my favorite setting spray ever. It's a little bit on the pricey side. Um, I got in a PR package, but I have, like, seen it in my drugstore. Um, it's, like, $20. But, like, it's cheaper than what you would get, like, as Urban Decay or something. I think the Urban Decay ones are $40. But this one makes my makeup look so good. Like, it looks like skin. Like, I don't know how to explain what it does, but something about it makes my face makeup just look so beautiful so i would highly recommend this um it's super great For highlighter i'm going to be taking my favorite highlighter palette the nicole guerrero and avh glow kit i'm going to be taking it on a morphe m501 brush i'm going to be mixing glow getter 143 and forever yours and just kind of putting it everywhere 
I was in like a little phase where I didn't like a lot of highlighter on my face and now I'm out of that phase. So oh, we're back on the eyes and all we have to do is kind of finish them off. So I'm gonna be taking the James Charles palette again and we're just gonna be doing the lower lash line first. So I'm gonna be taking this orange shade right here and then the chocolate brown shade right beside it. I'm just gonna smoke out the orange just a little bit just to get something going on down there. And then with a Morphe M431, I'm gonna be taking the darker chocolate color. And I'm gonna apply that closer. So for lashes, I'm gonna be taking Super Dramatic Curve Lashes, just cause I really like dramatic lashes. And um, I got a recent comment on my last video saying to do a prom look, which I'm doing right now, but to also recommend like some other lashes just because I am like a diehard Dodo Lash fan. Um, those are the, la the lashes I've been wearing for the past two years just because they work for me the best. So I just like to work with what works for me the best. He asked if I could recommend some other lashes that um, I would wear. So I do recommend Ardell lashes if you guys are um, looking for more like budget lashes. Um, even though they are the same price as Dota lashes, I understand some people don't want to obviously buy online and they like to buy in store. So I'd recommend Ardell lashes. Bold face makeup lashes are really good. They're cruelty free. Um, I do like the shade Muse. They're more on, they are pretty dramatic, but they're just more on the natural dramatic side. And I also like uh, this style. I don't know if they have a name on them. Oh, they're called Super Stack. These are more dramatic as well. But yeah, those are two um, like lashes that I would recommend from another lash brand. But I am going to go ahead and use my Dota lashes in D325 just because I find that these look absolutely gorgeous on my eyes just because they're so big um, and they stand out so much. I wore them last week for an event um, that I had. I had my best friend's birthday and I, everybody was like, oh my gosh, your eyelashes look so like dramatic and they're so fluffy. So like, thank you for noticing. So yeah, they're super nice. Highly recommend. I'll leave a link down below where you can purchase the bold face makeup ones and the Dota Lashes ones. And I do have a code with Dota Lashes. It's Glam by Dot Soap if you don't know. And you can get money off um, these lashes. I'm pretty sure these ones are $12. Just because they are more on the dramatic side. So I think they're on the higher price side. I'm just going to put a thin, thin line just to kind of hide my lash band. I'm just going to use the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen. I bought this um, a couple days ago for like three bucks. It's actually really good. I do like it. And I'm just going to apply my lashes with the House of Lashes Clear Lash Glue. I highly recommend this lash glue. It's um, one of the best I've tried. So now for lips, I'm gonna do a little brown um, just because I thought it'd be cute with like the eyes. They're, it's more of a cool tone brown lip, but I think it'll look cute. So I'm gonna be taking this Essence Lip Liner. This is in the shade Going Steady, and then I'm gonna also take the one in Sucker for Gray. More of a gray tone, but it's fine. So I'm going to line my lips with these two and then I'm going to figure out what I want to do with like the inner part, but I'm going to line my lips first with these two and just see how I'm liking it. And I am going to overline just a tad just because I've been liking overlining a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna try out this uh, Mellow Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lip Paint in the shade Ibiza. Okay, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed and liked it. If you guys did, definitely give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you already haven't and check out all my social media links. They will be down in the description bar as always. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.